Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a spooky TBI. It's the wrong way. TBI Cluedo! <laughs> my favourite time of the month. I love TBI Cluedo. If you don't know, this is my TBI game that we play and it's a lot of fun and it's themed off of Cluedo or Clue if you're American. <laughs> and it is time for our October TBR, so I want all the horror vibes, all the spooky book vibes, all of the haunting vibes, all of the historical, grungy, dark, autumnal vibes for this month. We're aiming to get a lot of horror on this TBR and a lot of other spooky books on this TBR and I'm very excited for it. <laughs> I'm very excited. I still don't know what some of the books are, obviously, because some prompts I get which I have to choose in this moment and I'm like, what are they gonna be? <laughs> I don't wanna do it. I wanna go home. Like, I can't take the pressure of it. So I'm very excited for all the spooky books this month, but before we get into the video I want to say a massive thank you to the sponsor which is Serious Readers. If you guys were here a lot last autumn and winter you'll know I spoke about my Serious Light and I still love it. I really want you to know I'm telling the absolute truth that I use my Serious Light every time that I read at night time. I can't read at night time without it now. Like it's like automatic that I use it. I love my Sirius light so much. If you don't know, I have the high definition light from Sirius Readers and these lights have something called daylight wavelength technology which replicates the daylight spectrum as closely as possible which means it isn't using blue light. It's very gentle on your eyes. I always say it feels like a breath of fresh air and they are used specifically for reading particularly when it's dark and I was actually talking to my boyfriend's mum about this and we were like suddenly it's dark. <laughs> like all of a sudden it feels like it's getting very dark very early and so obviously I use this year round but I'm using it so much more already now that the nights are getting darker quicker and I love it. So yeah basically I have the high definition light, it has a dim on it where you can adjust the the light intensity and I will just say I obviously film the clips that you're seeing at night time and it looks probably really bright because <laughs> my camera does a good job of picking up on light but it's the perfect intensity, it's the perfect um, strength of light for reading at night and I honestly, I cannot do without it. I have found that my eyes are straining way less to read at night. If it's dark, your eyes have got to do more work to read. And honestly, this is such a game changer for me. Tom uses it as well all the time when he's reading. I I just love it. I cannot tell you, I think it's an incredible investment. I find that I read so much more at night time now because I have this light and it makes it so much more enjoyable and so much more easy. So I have a really great code for you guys. This is an amazing deal. I have a code SR436 and that will get you a hundred pounds off of your order of a high definition light as well as free delivery. A hundred pounds! A hundred pounds! I can't believe it, it's an incredible deal. So the code is SR436 and that will get you a hundred pounds off your order. And like I said, I cannot recommend it enough. I use it every day, pretty much. If I'm reading at night time, I use it. And I just think it's such an incredible product. It leaves my eyes not feeling strained, not feeling like I've been squinting, not feeling like, you know, it's too bright in the evening as well. Sometimes like when it's, we're big like no overhead light on people. Uh, we're big like lamps on, you know, like a soft light in the evening and it doesn't feel too strong. So I cannot recommend it enough. Make sure you go check out my link down below and use the code to get hundred pounds off of your high definition light. Okay guys, it is time to get into the TBR Cluedo. I've got my witchy outfit on. Um, <laughs> this is my witch outfit. I should put a, oh, I'm not putting TBR Cluedo hat on. It doesn't go with the vibe today. Um, <laughs> so shall we just get into the first role? Okay, role number one, person number four, which is pink up here in horror. That's good. That's a good early one. We have three and a one. Okay, I am just gonna go one, two, three and get the dagger. So the dagger is a random number generator picks what I read. Oh god. <laughs> so the dagger is a very fun, super, super clue. I think I call them super weapon, whatever they're called. And the dagger, I have to use a random num generator to pick what I read. So the weapons don't have to be constrained by the genre room they're in, but they can be if I want them to be, is kind of the general rule. So I can pick and choose. So I could either random number generate my whole TBR, which I've done before, or just random number generate in horror, which is the room that it was in. Obviously it's spooky season, I'm gonna do horror. <laughs> I don't actually have a ton of horror books on my TBR and I think that's because I read them quite quickly once they come onto my TBR. My horror shelf is like the most of these like 
the half shelves I have here. Obviously, this is all fantasy, this is all mystery thriller. The horror shelf is by far my one that is like overflowing. Like I'm having to put them behind here on the mystery thriller shelf now. So I do read quite a bit of horror, but I read it quite quickly when it comes onto my TBR, which is interesting. So I think I only have about 20 books. So first thing I'm gonna do is number generate between one and 20. Okay, between one and 20, generate. Six. Okay, I'm gonna order it by most recently added because that's how I always order my shelves. Oh god, I feel nervous. What was it? Number six, right? <laughs> okay, date added. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I've got to do it again because I've just read Dr. Jekyll and Miss Hyde. You all have seen that vlog already, but I've started only updating my Goodreads once a vlog has come out. And when I'm filming this, it hasn't come out yet. So we're gonna have to redo it. Generate seven, the one below it. The Ballad of Black Tom. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Is this a novella? How long is this? Yeah, okay. I don't know much about this. This is just an audio book that I have saved, I think, on script. And so that's why it's on my TBR. I added this over a year ago. That shows you how quickly I get through horror books really quickly when I add them to my TBR. I don't know much about this, but I know a lot of people have really enjoyed it. Oh, it's a retelling of a Lovecraft story. Yes, okay, I have heard of that. Opens a door to a deeper realm of magic and earns the attention of things best left sleeping. Okay, I'm interested to read this because I have heard a lot of people really enjoy this and say that it's like a short horror that a lot of people should read. I might even read it like really soon. How exciting. <laughs> I don't know much about the plot but I remember I've heard so many people recommend this and say that they enjoyed it. Okay good one. Roll number two. Oh my god four again. Oh my god okay I was there. <laughs> Let's see how many we roll. What is the chances? I wanted horror and I'm getting horror. Um okay three and a two. Let's go one, two, three. And that is number 13, which is a TBR veteran. It's one of the older horrors on my TBR. Roll number two was another horror that is a TBR veteran. And this is the one that I gave to my patrons to vote on and to be our book club pick for October because I knew I wanted to have a horror that I would read with them. So I picked four of the oldest horrors that are still on my TBR. And those are Pine by Francine Toon, Hashtag No Escape by Gretchen McNeil, My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones, and The Luminous Dead by Caitlin Starling. Now, I would have loved if The Luminous Dead had won because it's a horror that I really want to read. and key fact is it's not starting a new series but by far <laughs> the landslide winner of the poll was My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones. I have heard a lot of good things about this and I have enjoyed a lot of Stephen Graham Jones that I've read in the past but uh it's starting another series guys. I will just say that um I I sabotage a lot of things. Oh. In it, yeah. Okay. okay, so all I know about this one is the start of another series. We're following a character who I think loves slasher films. Her name is Jade. Yeah, she loves slasher films. And she like assigns like the roles that people would play in a horror film to like the people in her <laughs> life. Um, but then I think murders start occurring in her town that she lives in. And yeah, I really loved The Only Good Indians. I read Oh Night of the Mannequins by Stephen Graham Jones. I've read quite a few Stephen Graham Jones. I've never given him a five star, but I have always really enjoyed it. And I've heard really, really good things about this one. So hopefully it'll be a good one for us to discuss in the book club. Hopefully it'll be like a really good gory horror for us all to read in October. But they have made me start another series. Oh, there's like, what is this? There's like some mixed media of some description. What is this? Slasher 101. I think she's writing essays on like what slasher films are usually like. Okay, interesting. I'm really excited. I'm excited to read more Stephen Graham Jones, but uh, they're making me start another series, guys. It wasn't me. I gave them three other options that were not starting in the series. One of them was making progress in a series and they choose, they choose to... <laughs> no, I'm joking, it's fine. Roll number three. Person number three, which is red up here in historical. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a two and a six. What can I get to in the room with that? Um, what about the one in the corner there? We go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, perfect. Okay, that is number eight, which is a 2023 release. Roll number three was a historical that is a 2023 release, and I was really excited because I've been wanting to read this, and it's perfect. Bye. <laughs> 
perfect for October is the other, calm down again, the other side of Mrs. Wood by Lucy Barker. So, oh my gosh, come on, spooky vibes. I'm so obsessed. So this is set in Victorian times when the girlies were obsessed with seances and ghosts. They loved like seances. What's the word? Like there's a word for this. Occult, they loved the occult. And we're following, I think, one of London's most acclaimed and established mediums. But then something starts to happen to her routine and it starts like people start seeming not as interested. <laughs> so that plot doesn't sound the most interesting. <laughs> I assume it's going to be a book where like you can't really tell the plot because it's going to go off in a different direction or something. Or like the plot ends up being more interesting than it sounds. But the imagery of like Victorian occult ghost seances, like holding hands on the ta around the table and the candle is flickering out. Do you know what I mean? It's perfect for this time time of year so I absolutely had to pick this up. It's one that I haven't really heard anyone speak about. It's one that I, I can't remember how I heard of it to begin with. I think just like on Twitter or something and I haven't heard any booktuber review this yet so I'm intrigued to see what I, I like going into a newer release with like no expectations and no idea of what other people really think about it because I just find sometimes with other books there can be like a lot of pressure around liking a book or, you know, you can go with preconceived notions, whereas I'm not going into this with that. So I'm, I'm really excited. I think I'm going to enjoy this and I think it's going to be like, this is, I think this is the kind of book you have to read in like the autumn and spooky season, you know, to really get the full bang for your buck. <laughs> roll number four. I feel like we've got a good roll so far. Person, I can't speak so far. <laughs> so far. Person number six, which is yellow and thriller. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a four and a two. Can I make it? I think I can make it to, to the rose prompt, can I? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god, I can. Oh, I'm a genius! <laughs> Great, okay, so that is the rose prompt, which one of my patrons will pick what I read. Roll number four was the rose prompt. Let's get the jar. If you don't know, when you join my Patreon, everyone gets to pick two books off of my TBR that they would like for me to read. It goes into this jar, and when we get the rose prompt, I pick one out. And listen. They, they have interesting choices. <laughs> and we'll see who picked it. Okay, I'm just gonna go in quick today. I'm gonna go in quick because I have nothing that I am like, you know, hoping for. We're just gonna do it quickly. Oh, I had two. <gasps> I picked up two, okay. I'm going with this one. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Let's focus on the hand. Thank you. What is that? Oh, you are fucking kidding me. <laughs> can't believe that. Oh my god! In both of the weapons, it is trying to get me to read Dr. Jack on my side, which I literally have just read. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh my gosh, I've literally just read it. Why couldn't they that had happened last month's TBR? Let's see who picked that. So the people picked that page. Anyone else? Just page. Well, page, I've read it. <laughs> let's go. I put the other one that I picked out to the side. So let's go for what that one is. Hopefully it's not another one that I have already read. What is this? I can't get it to open. What is that? <laughs> is it a coincidence? Is it a coincidence? I ask you. Is it a coincidence? <laughs> you are kidding me. You are kidding me. <laughs> do I take the dub? Like if something's already on the TBR and like the rose prompt picks it, do I just take the dub and like not add something else? Or do I add another book? No, let's add another book. Do I? <laughs> yes. Let's see you picked my heart as a chainsaw first. Agnes picked it. Anyone else? Becky and Emma. Oh, and Brenna, lots of people. That's, the four of them picked that. Okay, another one, another one. If this is another book that I've read or is on this TBR, I may take the dub, but let's see. <laughs> Hopefully, I want people to deliver with like an autumnal book. What is this? Oh my God, I've read it. <laughs> I literally read that like last week. <laughs> We're going again. Who picked Her Majesty's Royal Coven? Karis picked it. Tiffany picked it. Probably a lot of people picked this. Laurel picked it. That's it. Okay, the three of them picked that. Next one. Oh my god, it's all books I've literally read. Let's get something from like the top, maybe. Because that would be like a newer pick. Okay. Or it might not be, because I have just shaken it up. Okay. 
Next one. The Marlowe Murder Club. That's another series. <laughs> we are going to pretend we didn't hear that. <laughs> Guys, no! Should I have just taken the dub? Am I... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea where that book is. It could be anywhere. So, <laughs> what we're gonna do is, you guys tell me in the comments, okay? Do I have to add the Marlow Murder Club to my TBR? <laughs> oh, and listen, I do wanna read it. It's on my TBR, but it, like we're getting to the end of the year and I have not finished enough series. I don't wanna be starting anymore and I already am. <laughs> so should I just take the dub and add my heart as a chainsaw like in as this as well? Or, because sometimes I let myself, like, if a book comes up on another prompt that's already on the TBR, I let myself just, like, not have to add another one. But I was, like, you know, I was being positive, and then... <laughs> should I add the Marlowe Murder Club to, to my TBR, or should I take the dub and not add it? The rules don't apply. Okay, I will make a decision based on what you say. So Dee chose this, Kate chose this, Emily chose this, Laura chose this, that's it. So the four of them chose this. If you guys tell me I don't have to add it to my TBR, I will not. <laughs> and I'll put it back in the prompt. I'll put like one of those back in the prompt jar. Um, but if I do have to add it to my TBR, I will. So the Marlowe Murder Club, I just know it's one of this, like, I think it's, we're following old people <laughs> solving murder mysteries. This kind of subgenre that sprang up, particularly within British publishing, after the Thursday Murder Club. I can't remember the slant of this one. I know a spoonful of murder is teachers. What is Marlowe Murder Club? <laughs> Judah Potts is 77 and blissfully happy. One night, swimming in the Thames, she witnesses a brutal murder. The local police don't believe her story. Um, joined by a quest by the prim and proper wife of the local vicar. Okay, it sounds fun, but like, maybe next year. <laughs> Let me know what you think, okay? Let me know what you think. Roll number five, person number one, which is green over in fantasy. Good, there's a lot of fantasy I'd like to read. Got a five and a two. Where can we get to with that? I think I can just go one, two, three, four, five. There we go. That is number two, which is a series I'm part way through. Roll number five was a fantasy that I am part way through the series, and guys, I'm finally gonna be reading Lost in the Moment and Found by Shauna Maguire. This is the next In the Wayward Children series. I'll be all up to date until like February when the next one comes out, but that one's dinosaurs. I'm very excited. I love the Wayward Children series. I am just like incredibly excited to read this. I can't wait. I'm so excited to read this. Um, we're following Antsy, who I believe goes to this, like her world is where lost things go. And I know this one is heavy hitting. I've heard a lot of people say they find it very emotional, they cry, it's very like, yeah, hard hitting emotionally. But I love the Railroad Children series. It's the five star series in this for me at this point. I very rarely don't give them five stars because I love them. So I'm very, very excited. I'm gonna be reading this like towards the end of October and I just know I'm gonna just sit down on a lovely evening, light a candle and just like, read this book and love it and I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited. I think this is gonna be a five star, let's be honest. Okay, final roll. We've got person number six. Who is that again? Okay, that's yellow. Let's see how many we roll. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We've got a three and a four. Let's just go one, two, three, four. That is number 12, which is a favorite author. Okay, fun. And then our final role was a contemporary by a favorite author, and I have chosen All the Rage by Courtney Summers. This is one of Courtney Summers' backlists, and I am making my way through her backlist. This is another one that I think is incredibly heavy hitting. We're following a girl who is essayed, and I think it's dealing with the aftermath. It's the by the sheriff's son, and everyone refuses to believe her. I've read a few reviews, and they say that it's like an incredibly unflinching look at what it's like to go through that experience, and it's very accurate. I always feel like when Courtney Summers deals with these um, 
you know, difficult topics, be that like she did in Sadie or The Project or I'm the Girl. She does it with an incredible amount of care and not sensationalizing anything or just like really thinking about the people who are victims of all of these different scenarios that she encounters and like writing the book that they need to read. So I'm very excited to be reading this. I'll be reading this next week actually. And I'm really looking forward to it and I'm excited to cross another one off of my Courtney Summers backlist. So this is my spooky TBR. Well, some of these aren't spooky. <laughs> All the rage isn't. And lots of my found isn't. But we've got uh, The Ballad of Black Tom as well and maybe The Marlowe Murder Club. <laughs> maybe The Marlowe Murder Club. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. I need your opinion. I'm consulting you on this one. But I've got so many fun videos coming in October. I'm so excited for all the books I'm gonna read. We're gonna have the best time, guys. <laughs> I'm really, really excited. So yeah, let me know what is on your October TBR. If you got to the end of the video, comment a pumpkin emoji. Make sure, again, you check out Serious Readers. Use my code to get £100 off your high definition light. I still can't believe what a good deal that is. So go check that out if you've been thinking of getting something like that. I cannot recommend it enough. And I will see you guys very soon in another video. Bye!